Hello guys. Tonight I'm at the Rocky Flats network of trails. And if you don't know, this actually used to be a nuclear weapon plant. So this network of trails is fairly brand new and could be probably the most controversial network of trails in all of Colorado. The Rocky Flats facility operated from 1952 through the early 90s as part of the Cold War. The focus of the facility was to produce plutonium pits, or the core of a nuclear weapon. I believe I've read that the core was then shipped down to Texas where the actual weapon was assembled. I think the idea was that there would be a separation of duties so that no one wretched human would know how to make a nuclear weapon from start to finish. So as I was saying earlier, this site actually used to be a nuclear weapons plant that was decommissioned probably over a decade ago now. There was a massive cleanup effort and they still monitor it to this day to make sure it's safe and it's not too radioactive or whatever they're looking for. Even still, this network of trails opened up fairly recently and there were quite a few protests actually because a lot of people don't believe it's safe to actually recreate in an area like this. Um, when I've looked into it, experts don't seem to fully know for sure. I mean, obviously no one can say anything really, 100%. But it's a very pretty area. So might as well check it out, right? <laughs> We got some fairly heavy rain the last two nights, really, and it's not very muddy, but there's a lot of mosquitoes and stuff, that's for sure. What a ranch. Nice location. Besides the fact that it's about to fall down, I'm sure it's infested with all kinds of bugs and spiders and who knows what's down in the basement. There's always something just kind of creepy about abandoned structures and homes and amusement parks and all kinds of that stuff. Nice little walkout basement though. Some of the paths still remaining. And you got the barn out here. 
This barn looks to be in much better shape. Like it's almost been restored. Yeah, they even have cables that seem to be holding it up. I'll go around the back here, might as well, since I'm here. I don't like the fact that you can't quite see where you're even stepping though, walking through these massive weeds. Like I said, we've been getting a lot of rain, so everything's very green. This looks like a massive beast has been laying here, if I didn't know any better. Some sort of horse or something, or perhaps a pack of man-eating wolves. Everything's obviously boarded up and locked up. There's locks on these doors even. Okay, back on the bike. Time to get out of here before some crazy hobo comes flying out of these structures. Either that or the massive beasts. The federal contractor that ran Rocky Flats pleaded guilty to hazardous waste and water violations and was eventually fined over $18 million. Of course, the old site sits on some amazingly scenic land, so it's unfortunate that its safety will probably always be somewhat questionable. Of course, considering the rate of growth in Denver, if there wasn't something as dramatic as radioactive nuclear waste, the land you see here would probably be overrun with homes, apartment buildings, grocery stores, and retail space. So looking at the glass half full, it's kind of nice to have this last frontier of Denver. They call this a wildlife refuge, but it's also a bit of a spiritual refuge. It's just really nice to even drive on the surrounding roads, crank up the music, do some thinking, talk to God, get away from the city, and just kind of unwind. The actual trails in the park are all pretty easy. Everything's gravel, and you're not even going to get into single track here. Everything seems to be on old roads, probably for utility trucks that may even date back to when the facility was fully operational. You can even get away with riding a hardtail mountain bike here. Normally I don't like to ride a hardtail mountain bike on any dirt trail, but there's so few rocks to bounce you around that you can get away with it 
and there are some fairly decent climbs. So it is kind of nice to have a hardtail to make the climbs a little easier. A section of the trail also goes between the old Rocky Flat site and a concrete company. I couldn't help but wonder how many hysterics would be up in arms if they knew the concrete used to pour their driveway came from right next to the infamous Rocky Flats nuclear weapon plant. So right somewhere in there is where the actual nuclear weapons plant was located. They have signs that are saying no visitor access. So it is kind of blocked off to the public. You just have this kind of tight road that goes along the border of it, I guess. So here's an aerial view of the old site. I believe the primary concentration of buildings was located here. And as you can see, there's hardly any visual trace. It essentially looks like just an open grassland now. Radioactive or not, toxic waste or not, there's no denying this is one of the most beautiful areas in the Denver Metro. The massive wind turbines. and a nice waxing crescent. All right, just got back before dark. This might be one of the easiest trails in town, but like I said, also one of the most controversial just because of the debate over whether it's toxic still or not. Time to load up the bike and get out of here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.